से करते हैं सबको ये कहते हैं दिल का राज आबे हयात दिल का राज आबे हयात السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ و برکاتہ آداب عرض اینڈ ویلکم ٹو آب حیات اٹس اے پوئٹری پلیٹفارم فار ویمن پوئٹری دیٹ از ٹائم لیس اینڈ الیکسر آف ورڈس دیٹ بیکم دا وائس آف دا پوئٹ اینڈ ریسائٹرز دیٹ بریڈ لائف ان ٹو کمپوزیشنس آب حیات اسپیکس آف لو ان اٹس پیورسٹ فارم آئی ایم زورا خان لیٹ می ٹیک یو تھرو اے جرنی آف پوئٹک ایکسلنس love and devotion on this episode of Abe Hayat, the elixir of life. Our very special guest in the studio today on Abe Hayat is Hafiza Suleiman. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu Zora. Welcome Hafiza to the sets of Abe Hayat. Shukran for giving me this opportunity. We are going to start Abe Hayat as usual with beautiful praises and poetry recited by ourselves and Hafiza in the studio but praises to Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala our rabb our creator the cherisher the sustainer and of course our lord the beautiful words of Janab Safi Siddiqui to start off on Abe Hayat with me Zora Khan ساری خلقت کا تو ہی خالق ہے رزق دیتا ہے تو ہی رازق ہے ہم تو بندے ہے تو ہی واحد ہے تو خبیر و علیم تو ہی ہادی ہے تو حسیب و حکیم تو ہی باقی ہے تیری رحمت پہ ہم گنہ گاروں کا آسرا ہے اب ان گناہوں کا ذل جلال ذل جلال ذل جلال ذل جلال حفیظہ it's such a pleasure having you here in the studio today we go back a very long time long very very many years ago early 90s mm, yes that's when we first met um, I think Hafiza, a lot of your work started off with Dawa uh, in the greater Chatsworth area and led to you coming up with one of your first albums which is Come to Islam. Yes. And uh, for South Africa, I would say, safely say, that it was one of the very first yes. women album, uh, Come to Islam. Tell us a little bit about how that came to being. Uh, like you've just mentioned, Zora, through my work of Dawa, this is how Come to Islam was born because I was working with people from all uh, across the line. I was working with people that were reverts and uh, knowing that uh, we be, uh, being Islam, we, we read Arabic. So obviously when people come into the religion, they don't know Arabic. So they needed something to relate to. And uh, this is why Come to Islam came about. Four reverts that could understand, you know, this in a simple language that would pass the message of the oneness of Allah. The other is reason being the youth. A youth needed something to keep them uh, tapping and uh, like I'm saying again to you Arabic is something they need to learn this is so foreign we, to yes them. foreign to them and then they needed something also to relate to where instead of now listening to um, other types of music they could listen to the English with music and also relate to the words that were there all right by by music we mean uh, I think some of the albums were done with a bit of duff and duff, yes and but some of them were just pure uh, come to Islam yes and they were just recitants uh, on on that on that album but Hafiza what interests me is that even though come to Islam is written in English the poetry is in English is one of the few poetries that I've appreciated 
in uh, uh, in the deen because it encapsulates a whole oh. lot of things in yes. there. The whole of dawah is in the songs. In the songs. Yes. Let's listen to Come to Islam. Come, <coughs> come, come to Islam. Okay. Oh, people, come and submit to the teachings of all Islam. Muhammad taught us our duties to be loving towards mankind. Be a Muslim, attain salvation. Come, come, come to Islam. Come and have faith in Allah. You should come, come, come to Islam. Come and have faith in Allah. Believe in one God and His apostles. He spoke His angels the day of judgment. Believe in one God and His apostles. He spoke His angels the day of judgment. We will meet our Lord in happiness and faith. The joy we'll feel on the day when we'll meet. Come on people, let's get together and turn to Allah now and forever. We must always believe in Allah, Allah. Come, come, come to Islam. Come and have faith in Allah. You should come, come, come to Islam. Come and have faith in Allah. Hafiza, the words that sound so simple and they were penned by, I believe, your husband Rashid. Rashid Suleiman, yes. Totally, all the totally, tracks? Totally, totally. All the tracks were penned by him. All right, so it's beautiful English poetry that we've put together, but also heavily weighted on Tawheed, on the Deen. Yes. I see that you've kept all the aspects in there. Yes, and, definitely. And, and that same theme has run through the books of Allah, Fear Allah, Tikkul yes. I've looked at uh, your album, Come to Islam, with, with, with great passion because um, it sounds simple but it's heavily weighted Definitely. in the Deen and passing the, the message. message. Yes, the most important thing is passing the message like you say you, uh, through all my songs. Even Ittakulla, I've wrote it in such a way, uh, Rashid's penned it in such a way that the kids will understand the things yes. that they are saying like Ittakulla, fear Allah, subhanallah, subhanallah, glory be to Allah. Simple words but the meaning is there for them to understand. Because we always tell our children, say subhanallah, yes. say mashallah, but they don't really know no. the English words. Yes, the meaning. So, so Hafiza, the, the album Come to Islam was specifically done at the time when you needed something for your reverts yes. and the people that you're working with to go on. Lots of repetition, but beautiful lines, lovely melody, and something that's catchy for, for the, the children yes, as well. definitely. Um, Hafiza, it's interesting for me to know that this relationship between you and Rashid, you know, went surpass that being of marriage because you had the same kind of goals in life. It's very difficult sometimes to find a partner that shares the same, same. ideals and goals no, as you. No, definitely. It is and difficult. I, I've seen this twin, um, you know, characters but, in the both of you. Yes. Would you like to tell us a little bit about this? Okay. I, I think it's just, you know, um, the understanding, yes. sharing the same, uh, uh, having the passion for the same thing. Rashid and I had a passion for people, for working with community. And uh, I think this is where it all stemmed from. The passion that brought us even closer together and made us understand one another, our Very goals, uh, trying to get through to people, trying to be a, a loving to people, caring towards people. This is what my work's been all along. And you know about it, Zora, working with community, Definitely. working with the youth, having Definitely. a youth uh, uh, academy. It was all trying to bring everybody unto, under one roof and letting them see that, you know, uh, people have this, um, this attitude and this thought about Islam as being, you know, not something yes. that they can enjoy, not something they can be in and have fun. So we tried to portray this, that, you know what, Islam is a beautiful, Beautiful religion Definitely. and you can enjoy you can have fun and you can learn at the same time and uh, Hafiza I salute your thinking at the time where Islamophobia is really rife in the world yes now this album was pinned way back in way. 1995 way, around way back. there yes so you know your vision then 
still holds today. Definitely. This is what I say about the philosophy of poetry that's written. It's timeless. It goes Definitely. through the ages. It does. Afiza, tell us uh, a little bit about another composition that you'd love to share with our viewers today. Okay, I would want to share uh, Ittakulla, which is beautifully penned for the for the youth, like I've said, you know, if they say simple words, we teach them to say, to uh, say Subhanallah, but they don't know that they're actually glorifying Allah by saying Subhanallah. So these simple words, but beautiful meanings and for something, for something that, again, they can learn from. Ittaqullah, fiya Allah, astaghfirullah, forgive me Allah, alhamdulillah. Praise be to Allah, Subhanallah, glory be to Allah, 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 in the name of Allah the greatest, shower us with your mercy and blessings in the name of Allah the greatest shower us with your mercy and blessings Ya Rahmanu Ya Rahimu the most compassionate most merciful Allah 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 Allah, 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 Ittaqullah, Fiya Allah, Astaghfirullah, Forgive me Allah, Alhamdulillah, Praise be to Allah, Subhanallah, Glory be to Allah, 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 Allah. MashaAllah. Hafiza, the words ittikullah fi Allah. Uh, also, you've started off with that in an English. But remember, I also started the program with Zul Jalal. Yes. Zul Jalal and ittikullah, they run parallels. But it's an, an Urdu word, and, and this would be an Arabic, Arabic word. word. But still, it do not um, incur the wrath of Allah, definitely. Zul Jalal, the one that we should be afraid, afraid of. of and uh, I think uh, this is what poetry is. It means different things in different languages. Yes, yes. But th the message is the same. It the Kullah, fear Allah. Zul Jalal also says Fresh fear Allah. Allah. Um, Hafiza, you know, we the, the lyrics that I read were by Janab Safi Siddiqui and our careers in not reciting um, also ran parallels in terms of uh, the outside world knowing what talent we had and we were one of the few reciters, women reciters of the yes, time definitely. in the early 90s where we had started to pave the way with albums, yours being Come to Islam and mine being Kamli Wale Kinam and the person, the impetus, the person behind this was the late Janab Safi Siddiqui yes. Sahab and we've all shared very warm relationships with him. Yes, May Allah do. grant him a high place mm -hmm. in Jannah, mm -hmm. yes, inshallah. Um, Hafiza, tell us a little bit about your mentorship with Janab Safi Siddiqui Sahab. Um, like I'm saying, it was way back in the 90s. In fact, even before um, I had this bonding with Safi Sahab and he and, I, and he used to write my notes for me. And that time we were doing a lot of programs that, like you say, we were the, like the first ladies to start the NAT programs. And he used to write for me, but he never knew who I was. He just knew a name. And then come the 90s, uh, into the uh, late into the 90s, and that's when we, had, we started having this bonding where I was actually now meeting Safi Saab and sitting down with him and he was advising us can you remember those days, Zora? I can Zora? remember, and I think I'd even go so far as to tell you when it was the first time we did we did a lot of programs to raise funds for an electric wheelchair for Zishan with so, muscular yes. dystrophy. Yes, definitely. And I think that was the first time Janab Sapi met us with a platform, and we took this to a different level. To a different level, definitely. And uh, him calling us in the studios to do recording yes. on the Dinyat program at that time, and the, like the nights that were the uh, nights of power when we used to do 
uh, call us in for recording. And that's when I think this relationship with him was born. Hafiza, more importantly, I think um, not only did he just pen nuts for us, he taught us the philosophy behind the poetry. Yes, he never gave us words that we never understood. understood. And it was his passion to teach, being an educator himself, to teach us. And this is the difference between him and normal poets of his Definitely. time. Definitely. He, and he wanted, he, like you say, the words were such that it was understandable. And also when we read it, it must, people must understand what we were reading. The pronunciation, he was very particular about little things like that because he wanted us to promote the Urdu language. Definitely. And you are watching Abi Hayat and you are with me, Zora Khan. Our special guest here is Hafiza Suleiman. Hafiza, before we recite one of Safi Saab's favorite kalams uh, that you would like to share with our viewers, I'd, I'd love to listen to the books of Allah. And uh, I think there's a great message in that. It also has a universal appeal for the viewers and the listenership and the viewership of Abi Hayat. The books of Allah, guidance to all mankind. We must believe in the books of Allah. Torah, Zabur, Injil, the Quran. We must believe in the books of Allah. His will and commands in Al Quran will find. Read the Quran and strengthen your iman. Submit to Allah, follow His command. You be the faithful servant of Allah. Have faith and trust in Him every night and day. Have faith and trust in Him every night and day. The books of Allah guidance to all mankind. We must believe in the books of Allah. Torah, Zabur, Injil, the Quran. We must believe in the books of Allah. Angels are spirits created by Allah. Ever obedient to His will and command. Pure are the angels who glorify Allah. These are the angels of Allah. Angels praise Allah every night and day. Angels praise Allah every night and day. Jibrail, Mikail, Israfil, Israel. These are the angels of Allah. Jibrail, Mikail, Israfil, Israel. These are the angels of Allah. The books of Allah, guidance to all mankind. We must believe in the books of Allah. We must believe in the books of Allah. Beautiful, mashallah, Hafiza. Lots of inspirational words and also for children and for adults alike. And I think, you know, we would not be able to do justice to all the beautiful compositions yes. that you have. Yes, definitely. And inshallah, we'll have to call you back for all your be inshallah. beautiful Urdu recitals. Inshallah. But I would definitely love you to share one more recital with us. Uh, perhaps something from Janab Safi Siddiqui, maybe your makhtha. Or one beautiful verse. Okay, uh, this is something that I love. Uh, all his nats were beautiful. Safi, uh, Janab Safi Siddiqui wrote beautifully for us. Definitely. But then you have those certain ones that are special. Yes. You know that you to re you relate to, or some message in there that you know catches you, and then that becomes like your one of your favorites. Please do share with <coughs> us. Salalaki. <coughs> Sallallahu ki zikr se mehke 
मोमिन का ईमान सल्लाह के जिक्र से महके मोमिन का ईमान कलमाए ते अब परते परते निकले मेरी जान सल्लाह के सल्लाह के जिक्र से महके मोमिन का ईमान कैन आई जस्ट टू द मक्ता हियर द मक्ता इज फाइन ऐ सफी भी खास ताके नाते नबी लिखना नाते नबी लिखना और इबादत नाते नबी का पढ़ना सुनना मोमिन का ईमान कल माए ते अब परते परते निकले मेरी जान सल्लाह के सल्लाह के जिक्र से महके मोमिन का Iman. Beautiful words by Janab Safi Siddiqui, and he says that even writing a nath is worship. Listening to it, reciting it is, is it also bad? worship. Yes, Alhamdulillah. And you know, we all we you know we have the saying that every Muslim when they die, when they pass on, they must pass on with the kalima. That's and right. I think this is what the line that is so special to me because we know we must or when we pass on we must pass on with the kalima. Yes. And inshallah this is what I hope for everybody and this is always I always love this because it just reminds me that yes when the time comes kalima will I have yes, my kalima on yes. my lips. We have been chatting to Hafiza Suleiman on Abi Hayat. It has been a beautiful half hour with you and inshallah we all have to bring her back. to do another set of beautiful recitals Shalom. because you do have a lot, lot. of a lot of kalams to yes. share with our viewership inshallah um hafiza it was wonderful having you and we look forward to seeing you again inshallah shukran jazakallah i'm look forward to see you again and be here again inshallah and jani se pehle and before i leave you i just like to leave you with the tagline with what abi hayat is all about and that is प्यार सबसे करते हैं सबसे ये कहते हैं दिल का राज आबे हयात दिल का राज आबे हयात फम्मी सौरखान शबखैर